The nation's top health experts were back in the hot seat today testifying before a Senate committee. The hearing primarily focused on ensuring the safety of a coronavirus vaccine when it eventually comes out and recent highly criticized retractions by the CDC. Dr. Frank George here with a closer look at some sometimes a testy testimony today. Frank. Definitely, Kim and Devin. You know, with many Americans expressing concern that a vaccine might be rushed to be approved before Election Day, senators asked the heads of the FDA, CDC, and Dr. Anthony Fauci for assurances that would not be the case. FDA will not authorize or approve a vaccine that we would not feel comfortable giving to our families. Dr. Stephen Hahn testified no vaccine will be approved or authorized that does not meet the FDA's rigorous expectations. Science will guide our decisions. FDA will not permit any pressure from anyone to change that. I will fight for science, Mr. Chairman. I will fight for the integrity of the agency and I will put the interests of the American people before anything else. Senators repeatedly questioned CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield about guidance quietly added, then suddenly removed from the CDC website. There is growing evidence that droplets and airborne particles can remain suspended in the air and be breathed in by others and travel distances beyond six feet, for example, during choir practice, in restaurants, or in fitness classes. Is that statement accurate? There's definitely evidence of that, sir. There, there's no inaccuracy in the state. There's statement. definitely evidence of that. Redfield testified that now retracted changes on asymptomatic testing had been misinterpreted. We believe very much that asymptomatic transmission is an important part of the transmission cycle of this virus. Those individuals, when they've been exposed, should in fact be tested. Facing a potential fall surge, Dr. Anthony Fauci urged all Americans to wear a mask, socially distance, avoid crowds, and get a flu shot. If we all did it, and we did it consistently, we would not only prevent the surges that we've seen, but we would also get those surges down. Now, there was also an update on rapid testing. The nation's testing czar said eligible nursing homes are receiving nearly 5 million rapid point-of-care tests. They have also deployed 65,000 rapid tests to disaster operations in California, Oregon, Texas, and Louisiana. Another 349,000 tests are headed to historically black colleges and millions more to K-12 schools. Well, Frank, there were also questions about how far the U.S. is from reaching, uh, we keep hearing this phrase, and we've talked about a lot of these newscasts, herd immunity. Experts had a lot to say about that today as well. Yeah, so more comprehensive testing is still underway, but Dr. Redfield said the preliminary indications are up to 90% of Americans still have not had the virus yet. Now, the percentage is higher in some communities and lower in others, yeah. but needless to say, we are a long, long way from herd immunity. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Frank.